For 25 years, we've been expanding the possibilities of storage so that companies can create game-changing products. To find out more about how you can be ready for the future, visit sandisk.com business. Welcome to Engineering Update. I'm Casey Panetta, Managing Editor of ECN. In this week's episode, a Lego car, a cholesterol test, a high-powered laser weapon, and an upgraded weather sensor. Here on the update, we've talked about high-end cars, zombie apocalypse vehicles, and even a record-breaking luge, but we've never quite encountered a car quite like this. The super awesome Micro Project is a car just like any other, only it's made entirely of Legos. Steve Sammartino and Ro Oido used 500,000 Lego pieces to construct the vehicle, which uses a car engine made from Lego pieces that runs on air with four orbital engines and 256 pistons. Each of the back wheels features a Lego likeness of the two creators. As for the test drives, because they were a little nervous about what they call a Lego explosion, the two designers have only tested the car to about 20 miles an hour. Following the traditional hot rod design, the car was built in Romania and now resides in Melbourne. Cholesterol is a serious issue in the healthcare world, and while doctors can check your levels in the office, it's easy to put it out of your mind when you're standing at a fast food counter. SmartCard, developed by researchers at Cornell, is a smartphone attachment that lets you measure your cholesterol using blood, sweat, or saliva. Then, you use your camera to analyze the strip. The flash allows the color analysis strips to be properly processed by the app. Right now, you'll just see your cholesterol levels, but in the future, researchers hope to have a more specific breakdown of the numbers. The Army has been testing out a new toy, and it's shaping up to be a potential game changer. Recently, the Army demonstrated a vehicle-mounted high-energy laser to engage more than 90 mortar rounds and a few UAVs in flight. The laser, officially named the Army High Energy Laser Mobile Demonstrator, is being designed to protect against rockets, artillery, and mortars, but will also be used on UAVs and cruise missiles. Currently, the machine features a 10 kilowatt class laser, but plans to include a 50 kilowatt class laser in the works. In demonstrations a little down the road, the Army plans to integrate a 100 kilowatt class laser to increase the range. With the winter storms and crazy weather barreling across the country this winter, it's a little difficult not to get frustrated with inaccurate weather forecasts. But with a new type of humidity sensors, all the mystery of weather might be a thing of the past. The plan is to use airplanes, which are already making several trips into the sky every day, to provide real-time and frequent humidity data. This information is vital to weather forecasting, since the distribution of moisture in the atmosphere and how those levels change is key to prediction. The new sensors, called WVSS2, were manufactured by Spectra sensors and will measure water vapor hundreds of times during flight, replacing the twice-a-day method of weather balloons. The sensors have recently been installed on Southwest Airlines' 87 Boeing 737 planes. Southwest Airlines, flying Southwest. That wraps up this week's episode. Be sure to join in the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. I'm Casey Panetta, and this has been your engineering update. You guys are the worst team ever. Henry's recording videos, you're laughing. <laughs> the sensors have re- God, it is 7,000 degrees in here.